Hi and welcome, this is the next Python tutorial about loops, for loops and while loops. Here we go. And again I added a new file and this is called loops.py and I added commands for the stuff we are going to implement together. So let's see. In the first line we want the user to input a number again and this number defines how often the loop that we are going to program is executed. So we begin with the definition of the variable number. We want the user input. How many times do you want to loop? The user enters a number and it is stored as integer. You know this from the previous lesson in the variable number. And then we will print out the range from zero to this number. And the statement is for i, i is a variable that we define in this for statement, in range 0 to this number. And these values we want to print out. But there's one cool thing, you can leave away this 0 because it is the default starting value. So when you have a range that starts with 0, you can write it that way. And when you have a range that doesn't start with a 0, you have to define the starting value. OK, now let's print this out. And we have to cast the number i to a string. The function print expects a string, not a number. OK, now we defined how often we want to iterate 6 times from 0 to 5. That's for loops. Now let's go on to while loops. What are while loops? They are starting with the keyword while, of course. And now let's define while j, a new variable, is less than 0. We want to print this out. And perhaps you assume that j is defined like in the for loop and it is automatically uh, incremented, like in the for loop. But, oh, what happens here? I want my j. Where is my j? IntelliSense doesn't give me the j. It is not automatically defined. So we have to define it just right before the while statement. So let's do this. j equals 0. And now let's prove this in an IntelliSense. Here is my j. OK, great. That's a difference. You have to know this. So it's not defined and it is also not incremented. We have to do this incrementation of the j variable manually, explicitly. So let's write this down in a command so that we don't forget this. And now let's see how we increment this j variable, very easy, you write j plus equals 1. And this will increment the j variable's value by 1. And now let's prove this. Five times we want to iterate and each loop, the for and the while, is looping five times. Okay, now I will introduce something that will be covered in the next tutorial, but anyway, Let's define, I call this my array, but actually it is a list, a list of strings. And I will insert a cat, python, dog, and then we have a list containing three elements, three strings. And now let's use a for loop to iterate over this list. Here's the statement for a. You don't need to <laughs> define this here for the for loop, the a variable. We are looping through this my array and print out the variable a for each time we iterate. Just like this. And now let's see. Here we go with the cat, the python and the dog. Great. And now I'm interested in an item for which I know 
that it is located at a special position in this list. I know it is the first item and I want to access the first value in this list. And then you write my array brackets zero close. And then you get the first item or the second or the last. Just use this index. So let's start this and see what we get. We want the second item. Here it is. Okay, um, last thing I want to show you, it's some syntactic sugar, you can say, but I really like this. Let's guess, what do you think, which item do you get when I write my array minus one? It's interesting, right? Okay, let's check it. Let's just run this script and see what we get. Yeah, you get the last item because when the value of the index is negative, the values are searched in reverse order. That's all. So stay tuned, my friends. Next time we will talk a little bit more about this dynamic data structures and we will continue with functions. So here's the link to subscribe to my channel and also support me. It would be really cool on my Patreon. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon here on my channel.